Hey, thanks for checking out this quick video on the closet made rack systems that we got at Home Depot. We are at my wife's photography studio and we're going to attempt to basically organize all of these props um, in her workspace area right now. And what we're going to be putting in is these 16 inch um, rack systems and I've got some more here along with all the um, hangers and we got some poles so we can do some hanging stuff as well. I'll just take you real quick here into her office space. So this room is uh, 12 foot long by nine foot across and it is low ceilings. There's like seven, 10 in here, but our goal is to try to get five shelves across the entire, uh, basically the entire room. We might leave a little section over here because she wants to do some custom for hanging some stuff. Um, we do have to work around this mini split and then we're going to attempt to also go over her workstation here. So we're going to have to just kind of play it by ear as we go along and figure it out. So we're going to be using a number 10, uh, two and a half inch uh, wood deck screw uh, with a, just a tapered head on it. It's not a flat style. I'm using a small magnetic level that attaches itself to each of the vertical rails and makes it easy to ensure that they are perfectly straight up and down like they should be. We're also using the level line of the ceiling. Uh, we did check it for level and it's made it quite easy just to butt them straight up against the ceiling. This system does come with an upper rail that you can use. They do run about $27 a piece and for this particular room it would have taken I think six or seven of them. So we opted out of that, uh, especially since in our case we're putting one up every 16 inches and every single screw is hitting a stud. Here's the profile of the hanger and it's just got this hook system that goes right into these slots on the rails. And if you just kind of hold it slightly at an angle as you're going in, you pull down and down at the same time here and it locks it in place. And then you have your hooks here at the front. The shelving will come over the top, pass these little hooks down and then pull forward to lock it in place. And then after you get all these lined up together with the shelving, it becomes nice and sturdy and strong. Now it wiggles a bit, but once you get it all together, everything tightens each other up and makes it nice and strong. We have our first uh, set of brackets in place. And so if you look at this system, you're gonna see that we have them you know, every 16 inches. And these brackets right here for the 16 inch um, shelving units are about seven bucks a piece. So it adds up really quickly as far as price goes. Now, if you do use their railing system that goes across the top, it allows you to space out your rails a little bit further. Therefore, you wouldn't need quite as many of these brackets. However, since we do know we're gonna be uh, loading this up with some weight, we wanna make sure that we have everything that is needed in order to support it. Okay, here is a side view of us locking this shelving unit in. So all the brackets have to go inside these little openings first. Push it all the way to the back. Got it. So push the, the shelf all the way to the back and then down. Just has to go down past the brackets. And then you just pull forward. You ready? Okay. It pops in place. Just like that, it's done. Strong like wool. I'm gonna show you next how we put these, uh, these closet dowel hooks onto the system. And hopefully this is the best angle. But basically these just go, you've got a double um, support rail right here. And you just put these up at an angle up through the rack and then pull back down and they just lock right in place just like that. Here's another angle on putting in this little hook. Comes up through this little bracket here, goes back, pull down and it's it. Pull here. Then put this one right in the center. Just like that. And then the dowel itself just pops in place. Just push it down. There are a few different ways that you can uh, cut these shelving units down. If you're customizing uh, a space, then obviously an eight footer or 12 footer is not gonna always fit 
the opening that you have. So in this case, I'm using a set of bolt cutters. And to me, this is the easiest and the fastest way to cut these. I have used a metal cutting blade as well as a die grinder with a metal cutoff wheel. They do work, they're just not as fast and as efficient. And of course, if you're doing this with a grinder, you need to take it outside because it's going to shoot little bits everywhere. But um, you can see here how quick and easy the bolt cutters do the job. As far as cutting the actual railing down, here I found that a die grinder with a cutoff wheel is the easiest and fastest way. This is sped up just a little bit, but it does uh, make quick work of the job. And then if you're cutting anything off where a pilot hole is needed for anchoring it to the wall, you're going to need to re-drill a fresh hole as I did here. So we are finally just finished up with the project of this uh, wire shelving. Um, I think it turned out quite nice. It took us about three and a half hours or so to do the whole room. Uh, we didn't really run into many problems. We just ran out of product, so we had to go back and get some of the brackets. Um, I think it's more storage than we were expecting, so pretty happy about that. Uh, basically turned this room into a gigantic walk-in closet. Um, she just basically does all of her editing in here, so she doesn't really care about losing the space. Um, let me know what you guys are using the shelving for, and then at the same time, if you have any questions about anything I may not have touched on, or if you have any issues or run into any problems, let me know. I'll be happy to help out. Thanks for checking out the video, and we'll see you again on the next one. Take care.